Another big story locally, the impact of all of this on the Indianapolis economy. You know this was supposed to be a busy weekend downtown, but after all the closures, the cancellations, and a new ban on gatherings of more than 250 people, it is anything but. So we sent our Mary Mills around the city tonight to see what it's like. Mary, what'd you find? Hey, Scott, some people still going out, some people still trying to have fun, but take a look around. This was supposed to be a huge night, and clearly the crowds are not here. Everything's changed, as you know, quite suddenly just in the last 24 hours. If you were on the circle tonight, you could hear the symphony play. Not live or in person, but coming from these speakers. The symphony has canceled concerts through the end of March. The Friday night bike party, which usually draws two to three hundred people, also a no-go. It's called out because of the uh, virus. But he and a handful of others still showed up with some extra gear. Sanitized right there. Uh, I have my mask, you know, my mask and stuff. Still on the carriage rides, but business was slow. Gene Henry now worries for how long. Are you going to make payroll? I mean, can you pay your employees? Uh, and the employees, they've got bills, you, you know, so it's a big trickle down, I mean, huge trickle down. With the Big Ten tournament canceled, hotels had plenty of rooms and restaurants, plenty of tables. And here at Kilroy's, a sports bar, a first. There were no live sports playing on the big screens, just reruns. This group enjoyed a good laugh. But this was not a normal Friday night. The Blarney Bash on Georgia Street was canceled, the street empty. The Clauda, though, was still planning its St. Patrick's Day celebration tomorrow. And playing, um, I believe we have a DJ coming in as well. We have the, uh, the green beer. You could see and feel what many are thinking. With the current state of things, I think all of downtown is pretty much suffering. Um, we are still here for everyone. Uh, and it is hurting business a little bit. It is definitely, we can totally feel that. And Scott, just to emphasize again, we are on Georgia Street. The Blarney Bash was supposed to be going on here. Had it been, we would be swarming with people, thousands of people out here. Josh and I wouldn't be standing here. Uh, and of course, that had to be canceled. And the big question everyone is asking is just how long will this last? Yeah, awfully quiet tonight. Mary Mills on Georgia Street tonight. Thank you.